Hello, how are you? This is Rat Elaine. Um, figured I would just give you a little visual overview of some of the tools I like to use, especially uh, when I'm drawing uh, and making things for a blog post. Now, this is all mostly specific to Mac OS X, so if you're using something different, I, I can't really help you there. But, it, you know, there's a lot of cool tricks and stuff like that that I can use. So here I have um, uh, open my favorite drawing program which is Keynote and you may think that's odd and I do too but my whole feeling is that you should pick something that you're very familiar with and and use that because you don't want to spend a lot of time making drawings you just want to make drawings and I think uh, Keynote makes some great things so <clears throat> here is let me show you how I made this drawing this is I use this for the uh, the flipping car but you know what I normally do is start with some basic shapes uh, you know this is a, this could be a car right or this could be a dragon, it could be anything. Um, let me just make this a little bit smaller. There, so you can see. Uh, this is the newest keynote, which changed things quite a bit, but you ought to change the color. Uh, other things that are very useful to do down here is the uh, opacity, opacity, and change that to make it more see-through, uh, so you can do that. The other thing that, oh, I want this to be water, and I want the car to be underwater, well, then I want the that maybe work well, but if I want it to be sky, maybe I want this other car in front, so I want to move this to the back. So I, I right-click that and click send to the back. <clears throat> these are these are obvious things, yes, but I'm just trying to help out here. Okay. So you can see this car right here is just made up of uh, several things, and you'll notice that it's the same as this, but it's tilted. So here I have two circles for the wheels, and if you just highlight all of them by like that and then up at the top you can't see it arrange group now it's one object and then you grab these corners and you can rotate it around like that you can do anything with this okay add arrows and stuff like that um, <clears throat> let me show you how to add um, how I add equations and and this is not always the right way I use this program it's called uh, latexit for the Mac and <clears throat> So here I, I can write, let's say, vector uh, f net. And then I, I render it. And this makes a graphic right here that I can just drag into Keynote. Now, I used to, I haven't updated this, but see here? I used to be able to upload this as, like, I think a, a PDF or P, something that would allow it to look a little bit better. But I need to fix that. Uh, but I can rescale this and see it doesn't you can make it a vector graphic so it scales really nicely but I broke that at one point and I haven't fixed it so you can put your equations in there like that um, <clears throat> the other really important tool that I use is this sketch sketch is a screen grab tool there's multiple ones out there but it's surprising how useful it is uh, in some cases let's say I want to I'm trying to decide what to do. Sometimes you may want to make this a picture and it's easier to edit. So if I go to sketch and I just grab around that, then I can capture it and then I can drag it back into uh, Keynote. Now, there are some cases where it, <clears throat> it helps to have something that's a picture and I'm not really... Oh, to scale. Watch this. Oh, it works now. Okay. This one you can change the scale to really easily. One thing that is cool is to get rid of this background here. So if I go to Format, Image, Instant Alpha, what this does is it says, okay, I'm selecting all that color and I'm deleting it. And that's it. See, so and it, there was a shadow. That's why you see that. But now I, I have a better image. Uh, of course, I use these arrows a lot for vectors and free body diagrams, uh, dotted lines. Oh, you can play around with it all you want. Let me just show you some of the pictures I made. Uh, this is a, a ladder. I think I did that problem. This is uh, an, a lens from Ang uh, Angry Birds Telepods. I don't remember what that is. I'm going to skip one that I haven't... There's some over here that I haven't posted about. I don't want, want to spoil it. Oh, that's one that I don't want to spoil. Don't want to spoil. Okay. But you can see the idea. Okay. So that's uh, making pictures. 
Um, but sometimes you want to, what if you want to include an actual picture? Let's go to uh, iPhoto here. It's uploading something. Uh, so here's some pictures. Let's go to, um, this is, this is my page on Flickr. And <clears throat> I don't, I like to have my own pictures in Flickr. Um, so that I can, and you can use these too. It's hard to, I, whenever I see something, I take a picture. So that I might need it for a blog post. Like here, here's a beer. Okay, let's put this beer in a picture. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, you could save this picture. Okay, or I could just, I could just capture it with Sketch. That's usually what I do. Okay, now I'm going to put it in to my keynote. Okay, let me show you something. What if I just want this shield right here? Which is, this is a pretty good beer, by the way. Okay. Here, watch this trick. So if I go to shape and then draw with pen, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, and I can fix this later. Click. I'm just going to get, oh, I wanted the shield. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm done. I have to start over. Escape. Oh, well, let me escape. Okay. Click, 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 click. Pull this one down over here. Oops, I messed that up big time. Okay, there. No. Okay, there's my my thing. Now I'm going to select also the picture, and up here under Format, uh, Image, you can't see it, Mask with Selection. Okay, so now I'm, I masked out the, the other part, and it's kind of like cutting it in, with a different shape. You could use an existing shape, or you can draw your own, and then you can edit this. Uh, you can move these points around, you know, in, in real time. So it's pretty nice. Okay, I use that a lot, and then I can rotate it. Okay, one last thing I want to show you. Uh, here's in latex. The other thing I do, I use this for normal equations too. And and I mess this up a little bit, but you know you can you can get the basic idea. Um, let's scroll down here. So this is just um, <clears throat> LaTeX equations right here, and in this case it puts it on a white background. And then what I do is I use my sketch. I take a picture of it. Boom. And then I drag this and put this in my post uh, that I'm writing about. There are if you have your own blog, you may have LaTeX. WordPress plugin and that's awesome but I don't want to be dependent on plugins and stuff like that I want the picture to stand so this doesn't deal with that it's more robust in a lot of ways um, let's see pictures um, I think that's it so those are some tools to help you get started making some pictures in uh, for your blog posts it's always better to to make your own that's that's what I say all right that's it